What's up everyone? Today I'm going to give you a intro and sort of a crash course on Bing Maps, which is the less popular version of Google Maps, which is the open source sort of cloud-based uh, mapping uh, tool, right, where you can see places. Um, anyhow, we're going to just get into it right now. So I'm going to look over the United States right here in the top right hand corner. You can change from uh, road to aerial and you're going to get, you can also get into street side, which we'll get into a little bit later, but it's very similar to uh, Google's little yellow man that you drag in to do street view, but um, this one is uh, very much less intuitive, so I don't hate it, but it's really not as great. And they also don't have as much coverage over the US or really anywhere on the planet as Google does. So to get street side, you have to just click and then you can see all the areas that which they do have coverage, which are shown here in this light color right here. And then you have to go kind of put the man back. So instead of just clicking and dragging and it being right there, you have to kind of click on that. Um, anyhow, this right here, this kind of shows you where you're at, right? This is just your, uh, if you you know want to show it your location, you can. Um, but anyhow, yeah, see I'm over here on Oahu. Yeah, we just found my uh, location. Thanks, Bing. Appreciate it. Anyhow, we're gonna go over here and just pick a random place. Let's go to uh, San Francisco. So anyhow, if you search for places, it'll give you these little icons to like, show you different places you might be looking for, right? So, um, you know, airports, little icons and things there. And so, you know, we just search for San Francisco and right, it's just giving us a lot of different um, helpful things about the area that um, are going to be easily visible to us if we click on them. So like if I click on coffee shops, right, then it's going to pull up a, you know, a coffee shop map of San Francisco. One thing I don't really like, you know, is uh, it just zooms in on that one area when really, you know, greater area of San Francisco is kind of, you know, getting left out, right? But anyhow, it gives a, you know, a uh, chart here that's pulled in from Yelp. That's definitely useful. Very cool, right? You can see some uh, attractions, hotels, you know, all the, all that good stuff that you want to see. So let's just go down here. We'll just zoom into Oakland and we'll just look around and we'll see what there is to see. So one thing that you can get in here is you can you can definitely save places inside of being here. So you can add your home, your work. Um, collections of places that you're interested in. You can also go and you can see the, how bad the traffic is in any given area, right? So I was actually just checking out the traffic in Denver, but you can also go here and check it out um, in California, right? And you can actually, one cool thing that I don't think I've seen in Google, and it might be there, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please, but you can see the traffic cams, which just are taking a, I believe, a snippet of traffic activity every so often and then displaying that so that you can see how bad the traffic is right and so this is also giving you a full-on traffic map right so this is um, allowing you to see one thing I don't like about this is if you, you you have to drag right you have to left click and drag around a lot and for being one of the things that it has a real problem with is it easily will like highlight all this text in here and it's just kind of how the code is built that's sort of annoying um but whatever i dig this right um so let's go in and we'll actually go street side and we'll try the street side thing out because surely they must have uh you know streets uh, you know visibility here so we're gonna just drop it on this random street and we're gonna kind of see how this looks so anyhow, not bad, right? If you want to go and search for another area, I guess, so if I want to go to like Denver, um, or Denver International Airport, like I'm just gonna click on this. It will take me out of the street view to actually take me to that new place. Whereas in, um, Maps is a little bit more intuitive. It's basically the same thing, but you know. So anyhow, yeah. So you can do directions like you know a map quest type deal, like you know from and to. It's pretty much the same as Google. You can put in where you want to go from and where you want to go to, and then the way that you want to go 
right? So if you wanna walk, you can transit, bus, whatever, it can help you figure out how to do that, right? Um, one handy thing, it has a lot of the road closure information and different things like that alongside the road from the localities in which the, uh, the closures are actually happening. So that's some of the more uh, interesting and helpful stuff that's actually worth highlighting inside of Bing. Um, overall, they just have a little bit less of their own imagery and a little bit more technical features that I like in terms of, you know, traffic, right? That's definitely something that uh, I mean, I definitely like, for sure. One feature we kind of left out over here, I don't actually know how it works. I would love to have somebody in the comments let me know what this does, but down here in the right-hand corner, there's a thing that says Add All Keywords. And if you click on that, and then you click Export CSV, it gives you an Excel file, which has nothing in it. So I, I don't know why it does that. But anyhow, just a uh, proof of thought. I think that's supposed to be something to help you with keyword research or something for uh, localities. Anyhow, um, that's the gist of Bing Maps. It's a good alternative tool to Google. Although for me, primary would still sit with Google as far as just general con uh, competency and, and features. But this one does have its own, like I was saying, um, you know, favorable attributes and things that developers have put in that I don't see in Google. So, um, like the traffic features, it's very cool. I'm sure that that's a, something that you can do as, as well inside of Google, but um, this is just something that's a little bit easier to get to, in, in my opinion. So, thank you for watching. I hope this definitely helped you. Like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate that, and have a good one.